Item number SCP-1792. Object class neutralized. Special containment procedures. The corpses of SCP-1792-1 and SCP-1792-2 have been relocated to the nearest containment facility for further examination. Description. SCP-1792 is the designation for two humanoid entities, SCP-1792-1 and SCP-1792-2. The corpses were discovered in an open plot of land in Greeley, Colorado on October 19, 2021, when both entities crashed and expired. SCP-1792-1 was the first of the two entities to land. Satellite footage shows that it had manifested in the northern hemisphere above the Earth's exosphere at around 8.40 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time before landing in Greeley. It was illuminated with a bright orange color and appeared to be riding another entity in the shape of a steed. This entity dissipated when it entered the mesosphere leading SCP-1792-1 to lose its balance and expire upon colliding with the ground. An autopsy showed that SCP-1792-1's entire body was constructed out of hot embers, which had decreased in warmth at the time of examination. It wore a grey coat sewn with threads of an unidentifiable metal and a tan bandana made of mineral wool wrapped around its mouth. Inside the left pocket of SCP-1792-1's jacket was a package wrapped in a leather sheet held together with twine wrapped in a bow. Within the package was a heart-shaped locket made of steel. Inside the locket was a music box that played the tune of Can't Help Falling in Love by Elvis Presley when opened. At about 9pm Mountain Daylight Time, SCP-1792-2 manifested in the southern atmosphere. It emitted a white gas from its body and accelerated towards the surface in an orb-shaped formation before it collided with the ground, landing approximately 8 meters away from SCP-1792-1. The body of SCP-1792-2 was found to be constructed of nitrogen ice and iron-nickel rock. It bore a wide-brimmed hat made of titanium and a damaged leather jacket. Additional items found on SCP-1792-2's body were a banjo withered from collision damage and a folded-up page of sheet music of the song You Are My Sunshine by Jimmy Davis. Further research concerning the connection between SCP-1792-1 and SCP-1792-2 is ongoing.